San Mateo County was formed in 1856. This is one of California's oldest counties. By the late 1940s, San Mateo County was no longer a rural suburb of the city of San Francisco, but was instead a thriving industrial, commercial, and residential community of its own. 167 years later, a Latina walked through these doors and made history here. Her name? Noelia Corso, and I'm county supervisor for San Mateo County. Noelia Corso. Mm -hmm. When was the last time there was a Latina supervisor here? Never. <laughs> Never. I'm the first in the history of San Mateo County. We met up with Noelia in the place that shaped her childhood. So this is your neighborhood? Yes. This is where you grew up? This neighborhood is the North Central neighborhood. And it is, we're at the King Center, which is the community center that I grew up going to, where I learned how to swim and where I spent a lot of my time. So when you see it now, what do you see? I see my home. I see the community that, uh, that raised me. As the daughter of working class immigrants from Guatemala, this community embraced her and witnessed some of the hardest moments of her life decades before she even dreamt of becoming a government official. If you ask seven-year-old me, I would have said I wanted to be a veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, as when I was a teenager, I actually couldn't even think about my future because I went through something really, really uh, devastating, and that was the loss of my brother. Uh, my brother um, lost his battle with depression when I was 16 years old and he was 22. I was a junior in high school. And when that happened, you know, because my mom didn't speak English very well and because she was absolutely devastated, I had to step up. I was 16 and I had to plan my brother's funeral. I had to make some really adult decisions. Years later, her brother would become the motivation behind making mental health one of the pillars of her campaign. Her son and her mom, some of her main inspirations to run. I was thinking about my mom, especially my mom. My mom raised me mostly as a single mom and, you know, she to this day cleans houses and she was a nanny. And being a mom actually has informed a lot of what I do. I want my son to, to be happy and to have all of the opportunities that, that he deserves and some that I didn't have. So what happened that you said, I need to run for supervisor? What happened was COVID. I was president of the school board in 2020 during COVID. I was a bilingual nonprofit social worker, so working with you know, mostly monolingual Spanish-speaking families. All I saw was people suffering everywhere I looked and I recognized how much power the county had to really help people during that time. Noelia Corso attributes her win to her campaign efforts focused on the Latino and Asian communities, the ones she said many had forgotten, because financially she was also an underdog, raising close to $110,000 for her campaign. Her opponent raised three times that amount. How does it feel to walk here knowing that you can make a difference? It feels empowering and also like a big responsibility that I take very seriously. Where do you sit? I'll show you. <laughs> I sit right here. You also have a little situation here. What's going on? I do. I'm only five feet tall, so I need a foot rest during my long meetings. Why do you think it took over 100 years to elect a Latina in the Board of Supervisors? I think it's kind of like a, a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? You don't see people, especially women of color in higher elected office, and then you think it's not possible. We belong in every single space where important decisions are made. And if you don't have a chair, you bring one. <laughs> in San Mateo County, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.